Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making beef stir fry udon noodles in black pepper sauce. This is a classic fusion dish in Cantonese Cha Chan Ten restaurant. Not only it is super delicious, but also it is incredibly easy to make. Only takes about 15 minutes. All right, let's get started. Turn the heat to high and bring a pot of water to a boil while we are preparing other ingredients. Cut the beef into a quarter of an inch thick slices. This is flank steak. Other tender cuts will also work. Marinate it with a third teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, a third teaspoon of baking soda. This will break down the meat fiber and tenderize the beef. It will give you that melt-in-your-mouth texture. Mix well and set it aside. Next, we're going to prepare the noodles. Udon noodles are very thick, and they come in a package that is compact and really tight. To loosen them up, you have to drop them in boiling hot water and gently stir. In a couple of minutes, they should be nice and loose. Immediately remove them from the water and spread them on a rack. The rest of the heat will evaporate the excess moisture. This is important because we don't want soggy noodles. While waiting, we can put all the sauce ingredients together. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of fish sauce. One teaspoon of dark soy sauce and a ton of freshly ground black pepper. This is my favorite part because you really get to taste the peppercorns. It will hit you strongly. If you are serving kids, you may want to cut it down. Toss in the udon noodles and mix thoroughly. Yes, we are seasoning the noodles before stir frying. The sauce is very liquidy. If you add them to the wok, it will drop down the temperature a lot, which causes the noodles stick to the bottom badly. So it is better just to mix it with the noodles first. For the vegetables, I've got here some carrot, purple onion, celery, and multicolor bell pepper. You can use whatever vegetables you have left in your fridge. There is no restrictions. For the aromatics, you will need two scallions, which I have cut into two inches long pieces, one tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of minced shallot, and half tablespoon of minced ginger. Turn the heat to high and heat the wok until it is smoking hot. Add some cooking oil and swirl it around so it covers the bottom. Toss in the beef. Stir for just two minutes. The beef should change color, but you should you see a bit of red color here and there. This is the point to remove the beef from the wok. Do not cook it all the way through, otherwise it will be overcooked when we introduce it back to the wok later. Set it aside. Turn the heat back on low. The wok looks a bit dry. I am going to drizzle in a couple more tablespoons of oil. Add the minced garlic, shallot, ginger, along with the hard vegetables if you have any. In my case, it will be the celery and carrot because they take some time to cook through. Stir for a couple of minutes or until the aromatics are slightly golden on the edge. Change the heat to high and toss in the seasoned noodles. 
switch to a pair of tongs because they work great at fluffy noodles. I know some of you are probably wondering, why udon noodles? Isn't that Japanese food? As a transportation hub, Hong Kong is also a cuisine melting pot. You will see lots of recipes and ingredients from all over the world being adapted to the local taste. It is such an interesting catering culture. I like my vegetables to be fresh and crunchy, so I only stirred them for a couple of minutes. Add the beef back to the wok. Throw in the scallions. Keep mixing until everything is well mingled. Before serving, you can taste to adjust the flavor, but I have made this many times, so I know it's good. You can still see a bit of pink color on the beef. That is the perfect doneness for me. Of course, you can cook it more if you want. So good. Mm. This is mind blowing. Udon noodles are slightly bouncy and meaty. Even though they're so thick, they're packed with flavors because we marinated them so well. You do need to be careful if you can't tolerate spicy food. The black pepper really stands out, which pairs perfectly with the tender succulent beef. I just can't stop eating it. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Dump Recipes Wok. This is the wok that I'm selling and I am proud to recommend it to you as I have been using it on my channel for years. It is lightweight. It responds to heat changes quickly and evenly. It can also sustain super high temperature without damage. Perfect for wok cooking. If you like Chinese food and you want to make it at home better than your local takeout, you definitely need one of these as it is the most basic cookware in Chinese cuisine. The link is in the description. Go check it out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.